Hey everybody, Greg here with G Parker's Arcade and you're about to watch a video that um, I pulled down and I'm going to put back up right away but with a little bit of a disclaimer at the beginning of this and that is this video you're about to watch explains to you how to make some alterations in the way your uh, your VPX table is viewed. Now you can change the lighting and some of the characteristics of the table. However, it was advised to me by one of the viewers that there's some things that you want to be careful on changing and one of them is the uh, Z scale can actually affect the physics and table and break things. So with that being said, uh, feel free to do the things that are in this video. I, I, the main thing I was showing you was how to change the lighting so a table can appear lighter or darker but there's also some other physics you can change. So take that warning to heed and Here's the other thing I'm going to throw into this, and you can see right here, I've got my file structure set up over here. When uh, Before you do any of this, what I'm going to suggest you do is, let's say you were going to do Avatar. You were going to make these changes with an Avatar. Make sure you have a backup copy of this. One thing you could do is just take and uh, click the file and copy it, not just the name, the whole file, and maybe go over to your desktop or somewhere that's easy to remember where it is and hit paste. Now that file is saved there. If for some reason you mess up your table, you can always delete the one under the tables folder within Pinball Emporium and replace it back with this. So this is a little disclaimer. Enjoy the video. Uh, don't be afraid to try things, but I do want to make sure that I don't lead you astray and cause you bigger problems than what you've uh, had before. So with that, enjoy the video. I just want to let you know uh, do a lot of these things at your own risk and make backups. Always a good idea. Thanks for watching. Here's your video. Hey everybody, welcome back to G Parker's Arcade. Uh, making sure I get everything set up right here. It looks like I do. Uh, I'm here to do another quick tutorial for you on how to do some stuff within uh, Visual Pinball. So let's just get right to it. And let me change my screen here. Because I want to make sure it's a screen that you can absolutely see well. And I hope you can see this well. I have gone into my tables folder within Pinball Emporium. Now, you don't have to be a Pinball Emporium user to do this. That's just what I use. But wherever your visual pinball tables are, uh, here they are. So uh, Black Rose is the one I want to work with because I've learned how to make some adjustments and I don't know if you've heard people talking about changing your lighting, your POV, uh, different ways the table fits on your play field. And people have said, well, go on and make an adjustment on that. Well, they never explained how to do it. So I finally figured it out. So I'm in my tables folder and Black Rose is the one I want to work with so I just double click on it and open Black Rose. Now let me change this screen here and this is what you're gonna get. Black Rose opened right up. Now some people may like it uh, this way so it's just personal preference but the reason I'm doing Black Rose is because I find that the table is a little too dark for me but there's other things I'm going to teach you how to adjust within here such as how the table actually fits on your play field how the actual software the image fits on your play field so what we're going to do now is we're going to escape and we're going to go back down to quit to editor. And let me get you. I've got this up. Where did my editor go? There it is. <laughs> anyway, this brings you back to this screen here. It should, anyway. Now, I'm working with multiple screens here so it kinda hit it underneath here and I just found it and I clicked back on it. 
So this is what you're going to end up with is looking at you can open up Visual Pinball on its own and hit file and open and you can pick whatever table you want and hit open but I've already opened it from the actual file itself if I'm making any sense here and you'll notice when you look at the screen here and let me get this up to where you can see this big here there now you'll notice when you're within Visual Pinball and again if you look at the top up here it says Visual Pinball Black Rose Ballet that's the one I want to work with you've got two green buttons over here one is play table and one is if you put your mouse over it will pop up here and say interactive edit table camera lights materials etc click on that one it's gonna open the table now I've got to go back here now if you can see and I'm sorry the the video I'm shooting is in landscape mode and the tables in vertical so it may be a little hard for you to see but if you're looking at the table here you'll see it's got some wording down here at the bottom and it should say camera light material edit mode below that it'll say left flipper right flipper keys decrease increase value left right magnet key save uh, magnet save key previous option next option right nudge left nudge uh, takes care of your rotate uh, table option and then below that it shows you what you're actually changing now right now it's set up if you if you can read below that the first thing that comes up is camera at X and gives the position on the screen Y and that that position Z and the rotation the inclination and all that stuff now if you're to hit your uh, shift keys which it says to hit your flippers which on a keyboard should be your shift keys you will notice I'm changing see, I'm changing the inclination of this table Whoa, you can do all kinds of adjustments. So if you want that to look a little different on your screen, just do that. And if you forget, before you save everything, if you forget where you started at and you think, oh man, I better go back to ground zero here, just hit the C. It takes it right back to where it was at. Now, remember it said to change your options, your left and right magnet key, and I'll show you in a minute how to make sure that's right but it's pretty much comes on at least all the ones I've got set up on my Visual Pinball X and I'll show you how you can change this or find out what they are but on mine it's the letters P and O so P takes me to the next uh, letter P on the keyboard so you see I wanted to change the lighting I didn't care about that adjustment there although it's available to you the next one is environment emission and I don't know if you can see that down at the bottom of the play field I'll do this back and forth a few times to get your eyes on the bottom left of the play field and you'll see that that's changing hopefully you'll be able to see it environment emission that is your overall lighting so I'm going to hit my right shift key oh look I made this table brighter made it darker right shift makes it brighter left shift makes it darker if you're not sure where you started hit the C it takes you right back to where you were at hit the C it takes you right back where you're at now I wanted a little brighter remember so I'm gonna just hit the right shift key up ah, that's about where I want it okay now you can hit your P key again and it says light height I found that light height doesn't do much adjustment on here but if you want to play with that when you get to light height just hit your shift keys and see if you see something that you look a little different like you want it if it didn't change anything or you don't like what you changed just hit the C it takes it back to original now it does take your other thing that you just did back to original too so you kinda want to go through here and play with all these things find out what you want the settings at set them and then exit the game or exit this menu so now I've got to go back well uh, since I might make some other changes let's just continue through here uh, light range light emission scale 
Z offset. See, I can hit my shift keys. Oh, look. Just move my table. So if you need to make an adjustment, if you want your table to look like this when you play it, you can do that. But I liked it the way it was, so I'm going to hit C. Hit the letter P again. This is Y offset. Oh, it's moving the table left and right, left and right. Okay. I want to go back to C. C is where it was at to begin with. Hit the P again. Y offset. Oh, moves the table up and down. There's all kinds of adjustments you can make there. I'll go back to C. But I'm going to go all the way back to O by hitting the letter O. I'm going to hit environmental emission. I'm going to make my table brighter. That's, let's go back to where we're originally at. I think that's a little too dark for me. Okay, I like that. So once I've got everything set the way I want it, without hitting the letter C, I can go through these other menus and change them all. I hit escape. Quit the editor. There you go. Now, I can hit the play button, which if you can see that up here on my left screen, my back glass screen. Hit play. Now when the table launches, it's a little bit brighter. And if you play this video back from the first time I showed it, I mean, you know, to when I first started this video, you should see a, a little bit of a difference between the play field then and the play field now. So from there, I just hit escape, quit the editor, and there I go. I'm back here. Now, if you're not sure or that P and O don't work for you or your keys aren't working, let me show you something here. and Let me blow this up big for you. Here you go. Here is, again, Visual Pinball, your inside black rows. Preferences. Now, everything I just did there is saving locally, uh, not, not globally, just for that table. When you edit this, it should save it globally across all of your Visual Pinball. And what I'm talking about here is going down to Preferences, go down to Config nudge keys and DOF. Now, I hope you can see this okay. If you look on the small menu over here, left flipper, left shift, right flipper, right shift, left magna, save P, right magna, save O. Whatever those letters are will be the letters that you'll need to use in that other menu. If you want to make it the same as mine, or the same as they seem to be everywhere else if they're not, just click on like left magna save and see it brings up question marks there I don't know if you can see that trust me if you hit that left magna save and you gotta remember it was P so just hit your letter P after you hit that left magna it'll turn the question marks back to P I can hit left magna save and change it to G if I want to but I don't want to I want to make it P so other things you can save in here so if your stuff's not right Left shift, right shift, left magna, right magna. Uh, start game is C, add coin is D, add credit is D. Uh, left nudge, left control, space bar, front, forward nudge, right nudge, right control. All that stuff is adjusted within here. I just hit, I'm just going to hit cancel because uh, I don't want to change anything in mine. Now, what you want to do now is you want to save. So you just want to save this table because you changed the lighting on it. Hit save. <clears throat> and again, when you launch the table, there you go. Now you can do that with in any of your tables. You can make the adjustments for your lighting and your uh, basically it's called your environmental setting or whatever it changes your position 
of your play field on the screen, the lighting, there's a bunch of other settings in there. You just have to go through all of it. But anyway, there's a little brief little tutorial on stuff you can do within Visual Pinball X. If you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments. If you like the video, uh, give it a thumbs up. If you like the content, consider, consider subscribing if I could talk okay. I just try to make these things a little easier for you. I know I go on. I know I take a little longer than a lot of people. But I want to make sure you can hear me, that you can see what I'm doing, that you understand what I'm doing, and uh, make it an easier experience for you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.